Two years ago, we took over the pruning of this mature apple tree. It had been well maintained for several years, but then was taken over by a new owner and was mowed down for two years straight. The top of this tree had just been cut off, not down to the mature branches, but just all the water sprouts were just mowed off the top. And so for the past two years, we've been trying to thin out some of the overgrown medium-sized branches to allow for more sunshine to penetrate the canopy and to allow the light to penetrate into this lower section of the tree where the spurs exist. And that's where the majority of the fruit will be. And the good thing about the spurs down low is that they're attached to mature wood that can support the weight of the heavy fruit load. Today we're going to continue the pruning process and continue to thin out some of this. It's just a little overgrown. We have too much growth up top. We want to thin that out. Some of this is good for fruit as well, but we want to thin out some of that top in order to make enough room for the light to penetrate the canopy so that from top to bottom all of the, the tree is receiving the light that it needs so that the leaves can feed the fruit. You can see how this tree has outgrown or overgrown and all of these new branches here are gonna be full of leaves and they will shade out those spurs that are located in the interior and the lower part of the tree. So we've been, we've been tipping back the tall branches and making room for the spurs to collect the sunlight that they need and the leaves that are on the spurs are going to feed the fruit that hangs from that bud. We just completed the pruning on this apple tree and as you can see, we've reduced the height. We thinned out a lot of the upward growth to open up little pockets within the canopy so that the sunlight will penetrate into the lower branches and those lower branches are full of spurs and the spurs are these small little branches where the fruit will occur in the summertime. Sometimes uh, you can do a second pruning in the summer when the fruit is ripening. It may uh, increase color and then improve a little bit uh, some of the sugar content in the fruit but pretty much uh, majority of the pruning will happen late winter early spring and uh, this is a, a good productive apple tree and uh, this tree is is done for the year as far as pruning is concerned. <laughs>